when politicians enter a war, it makes it difficult for commanders, doesn't it? But what happens if it happens several times? What happens if politicians persistently interfere in the affairs of commanders? Of course, the army approaches a major defeat, and that's what we are seeing in the Russia-Ukraine war. Hello, the Pioneer viewers. Today, we will share with you the critical developments related to the Russian army. We often mention it in our map reports. The Russian army is retreating step by step on the Kherson front line. The furious attacks launched by the Ukrainian army have worn out the Russian army considerably. However, Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation, is unexpectedly showing his discomfort with this weir and tear. In fact, this unexpected behavior is not unexpected from our point of view because the Russian leader has done this many times. We are in here. According to the information obtained by the British intelligence, Putin is very disturbed by the losses on the Kherson front line. Therefore, the Russian commanders were warned quite harshly by Putin. Russian commanders were pacified on the front line. So what happened to the Russian commanders? Let's take a look at the developments together. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to not to miss the daily map reports and agenda reports prepared by the Pioneer team. You can also help us reaching more people by commenting on our videos. I read all your comments. You can express your opinions about our content in the comments. Let's start if you're ready. The Pioneer reports. As we mentioned, the Ukrainian army is carrying out critical offensive on the Kherson front line. Earlier, that is, in the first days of the Ukrainian counteroffensive, the Ukrainian army gained critical positions on the east bank of the Dnipro River on the Antonivsky Bridge. The Russian army tried to clear these positions for a long time. However, it is not successful. The Ukrainian army has accelerated its progress with the operations it had launched in recent days. The Russian army cannot hold on against Against these attacks, Russian troops are gradually withdrawing. We need to state the following here. If defeat is inevitable, retreat is the only chance. It is not a very wise move to try to hold positions persistently. Withdrawal both protects the existing troops and leads to the creation of more chances for further progress in the coming days. From this point of view, we can say that the Russian commander Makarevich, who decided to withdraw the Russian army in the Kherson region, took a very logical decision. However, Russian leader Vladimir Putin has no tolerance for the retreat, according to reports, Makarevich was dismissed. It is reported that Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation, was very angry at Makarevich and dismissed him with a sudden decision. According to the Russian sources, this situation is quite different. Russian sources claim that Makarevich was dismissed because he gave false information to his superiors. However, intelligence reports agree that the reason for Makarevich's dismissal was the decision to withdraw. Experts also claim that Makarevich was dismissed because of the decisions to withdraw. Of course, this can be seen as a simple incident. However, we have seen many similar situations since the beginning of the war. Even the death of Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigozhin occurred for a similar reason. The head of state of the Russian Federation is ruining the Russian army by making wrong decisions not only within the borders of the Russia, but also on the battle line. Russian sources claim that this decision was greeted with great joy in the army. However, our sources in the region claims that this claims are just propaganda. The commander appointed to replace Makarevich is Teplinsky. However, there is another situation. During the days when the Russian army retreated to the east of the Nipa River, Teplinsky was commanding the troops in the region. From this point of view, a commander who will take the decision to withdraw when necessary has been put in charge for the Russian troops in the region. From this point of view, a commander who will take the decision to withdraw when necessary has been put in charge of the Russian troops in the region. Therefore, we can say that Teplinsky will also decide to withdraw when necessary. And what will this cause? Of course, Teplinsky will be dismissed by Putin. Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation, wants to make decisions on every issue on his own. This situation causes tensions to rise between Putin and both the war leadership and the Russian soldiers. As you can imagine, this situation causes the Russian army to experience low morale on the front line and melt against the Ukrainian army. In other words, Russian leader Vladimir Putin is throwing his own army into a big fire with his own hands. 
Moreover, he does not only do this, at the same time he continues to insist on these decisions. When we consider these developments, we can say that the following. The tension between Putin and the Russian armed forces will certainly increase. With the emergence of a few brave generals or commanders, Russian soldiers may attempt an uprising against Putin. So we express this only as a prediction. Moreover, if we take into account that the Russian soldiers are so worn out and tired, we can say that this prediction has a strong side. However, time will show us this, of course. I would also like to mention the British intelligence reports about Toplinsky, who was appointed to the head of the Russian troops in the region. According to British intelligence, Toplinsky is a very successful commander who was dismissed after the Wagner's coup attempt. However, this commander wants to take an active role in the decision-making mechanisms. This situation shows that Toplinsky and Putin are actually in opposing positions, and I think it's also possible to destroy the following conclusion. Putin has lost his most successful and qualified personnel. These personnel were either destroyed on the battlefield or pacified by Putin himself. However, at this point, Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation, is dependent on the Russian commanders he has pacified. Therefore, Taplinsky, one of these commanders, was also appointed. This fact clearly shows that Russian leader Vladimir Putin's power is gradually diminishing. The Ukrainian army, on the other hand, is advancing step by step towards its goals aimed all this turmoil. In recent days, the Ukrainian army launched a larger scale missile attack on the Crimean Peninsula. It was also shared with the public by the Ukrainian sources that many targets were hit during these attacks. An image that has emerged in recent days shows that the Russian Black Sea Fleet, anchored around the Crimean Peninsula, is in a very difficult situation. The images in question shows that one of the anti-submarine ships in the Russia's Black Sea fleet has been damaged. According to the reports of the sources, the images were recorded off the coast of the Sevastopol on the Crimean Peninsula. It is seen that a small Russian surface ship, identified as an anti-submarine ship in the region, is surrendered by smoke. Russian sources, as you can imagine, refuse to comment on this issue. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said earlier this month that Russia's Black Sea fleet can no longer operate in the western part of the Black Sea and it is gradually fleeing from Crimea, calling it a historic achievement. What do you think? Do you think the problems between the Russian commanders and Putin will grow? How will this situation affect the war? What do you think about the developments on the Crimean Peninsula?